show you extreme. Step up to me, step up to me. Step up to me, step up to me. Step up to me, step up to me. You wanna be a big time player? Step to me. Look at your face, look at your legs. Funny you are loser with all your stuff to play. Get your fucking hand out, scared of all the standing. Don't wanna be like me cause I'm real. So you're still on your way to fame. Never gonna be, never gonna see. <sighs> Ty Warner Cable, Channel 2. You're looking at Crazy Ivan, the ECPW TV champ, Cortland. <sighs> And we are here in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, and joining me right now, the Inner Circle, Dave Gumar and LDC, conspicuous by his absence. Looking pretty sharp. Big Papa Chill. I look better than you for once. Not as sharp as this guy. How about <laughs> LDC here? Does he clean up nice or what? What do we have here? Look at this guy. I, I feel like sell it? I feel like I'm gonna get sick, honestly. You're gonna get sick. We're gonna get sick looking at you. You know, what do you what do you guys have in store? I, I don't even want to be here. So what what do you guys have to? I don't say? want to be this close to smell your breath, but I'm stuck. You're lucky to have us out here right now with you. You know that? I, I yeah. LDC. What do you what do you gotta say, LDC? All right. If you shut up for three seconds, I'll get it out. Inner Circle, <laughs> East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Ooh. You know. You're not even worth telling what we're going to do tonight. I think uh, <laughs> we're just going to keep it to ourselves. What do you say, Architect? So I say that same thing, too. You guys don't need to know? Well, on a need-to-know basis, let's put it that way. All right. Well, uh, like I, I said... Jim, calm down. I can feel you well, shaking I, standing this close to me. You know, it, it's okay. We're not going to hurt not you. Easy. Ever, ever, well. since, ever since Cortland, you know, I, you know I, I, just, I just don't like you, honestly. Oh, you know, and, Jim, we've never liked you. That's the point. You see, the truth finally got to come out. What's not the, look at this guy. Look at the drastic yeah. change. Can you hear that? I mean, look at him. He's like sharp. Look at the sport coat and everything. I What's not to like? Serious. Well, conspicuous by his absence is Big Papa Chill. What, what's up with him tonight? I Chill's wonder if they were going to ask. Don't worry about it. Chill's fine. Don't worry about it. You need to worry about stop going to Walmart and maybe go to Neiman Marcus or something. Like us. Never mind, Chill. He has things to do. He's bringing class to another town. We brought the class to Stroudsburg tonight. That's all we got to say. And you heard it right here, guys. <laughs> Well, as we've seen earlier in the program, Kenny Bangle and the Goods got a little score to settle here in East Stroudsburg. Last time we were in this very venue, Kenny Bangle and the Goods got at it that match. A good match. We've seen the Goods win it. We'll see if Kenny Bangle can get some redemption here. Not what you would call a strong fan base here for Kenny Bangle and East Stroudsburg. Talked to the goods earlier, said that he was very confident tonight against Kenny Bangle. We go up to Kenny Bangle in the ring with the microphone. Now, like I said, Kenny. Well, the fans letting everybody, everybody letting Kenny Bangle have it, should I say? A fan getting into it. And there is our fan cam. Kenny Bangle inviting the fan into the ring. But let's be serious here for a minute. Special guest referee. I bet you are all wondering who the special guest referee is going to be. Oh, 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 oh,
the special guest referee for this match here. And the man's the architect, the man's the commissioner. To be honest, he calls us what he, what he does, what he wants. Yubar headed out to the ring. Apparently, he's going to be the one that tries to maintain order. Maybe Kumar doesn't have many fans here in Stroudsburg either. But the one that he does have is in the middle of the ring clapping, and that's Kenny Bangle. Keith Kumar, the leader of the inner circle. Kumar was the leader of Team Excite. And for your information, he's this year's Smart Mark Radio Manager of the Year. A hard resume to argue with. here in East Strasburg as a hero's welcome here at St. Paul's Lutheran Church and the goods fired up here for his match against Kenny Bangle it's deafening here in East Strasburg and you gotta wonder what kind of alliance there is in the middle of that ring right now between Kenny Bangle and Dave Kumar. Because they're both on the same side as far as I'm concerned. And I don't know if Kenny Bangle has any affiliation with the inner circle, but Jim Holbert, it's a little fishy to me that Dave Kumar was called out here by Kenny Bangle and not yourself. Well, if memory serves me correctly, wasn't it Kumar who brought in Kenny Bangle to face the good last time we were here in Strasbourg? A good memory, Jim, and Ed, in fact, it was. And, you know, and like we said, these two faced off last time we were here. And, and Bangle well, didn't forget, obviously. No, that match was a victory by the goods. And as I said in the beginning, Kenny Bangle looking for a little bit of revenge. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see if he's going to get it, Dave Dumar. Why would you think any other? Is the good trying to dance with Dave Dumar? He's a taken man, Jim. Yeah. Well, you know, Emil, Emil will have something to say about that. Dave Dumar is the shystiest person we have. Hey, hey, watch your tongue. I, I won't even say in, in, in all of ECPW. I, I'll say, I'll say in all of East, Eastern Coast Wrestling. You can't even get out of your mouth that's such a lie. Are you kidding me? I mean, Dave Dumar is a gentleman and a scholar, Jim, and he should be respected by you, Bernardo. Bernardo, this bromance that you have with David Again. Dumar has gotten a little out of hand here. Listen, I think you need to get your lips off his ass and stop kissing. You need to get your head in the game, okay? Both of us recognize talent, and that's all it is, and that's where it ends, Jim. You're right. Dave Dumar is probably the smartest man in professional wrestling. Thank you. He is the 2013 Smart Mark Radio of the Year, voted by the fans. Recognize it. As the manager of the year, and he is, yes, Two-time Mr. Warzone. I didn't even add that to his resume yet, Jim. Thank you for chiming in. But the goods, on the other hand, let's get back to the action, oh. is taking it to Kenny Payne. Who cares about the goods anyway? <laughs> Kenny Bango looking for a lifeline, Jim. Well, yeah, and then once again, Dave Gumar gets in the way and distracts. What are you talking about? Dist what am I talking about? The Goods was getting ready to go after Kenny Bangle, and Dave, and Dave Gumar stepped right in front of him. Now, 
with lots of help. Lots of help from Dave Gumar. Bengal got the goods up, up against the ropes, whips them off. Misses with the clothesline, but catches him with the spinning back elbow. Bangle looking impressive, Jim. And you know, I suppose that whenever the good is on, or the Bangle is on the offense, it has something to do with Dave Gumar, right? That elbow, that spinning elbow, is beautiful. I call it poetry in motion. That had, was Dave Gumar's yes. fault too? Yes. No, it was set up by the interference of Dave Gumar to allow Kenny Bangle to take control of this match. If the goods can't shut his mouth long enough and wrestle, that's his own fault. How is that the architect's fault? Kenny of course Bangle. he's going to go to the other See, look. Look at this blatant choke with no five count from the referee. Why does there need to be a five count? Because this is not a no disqualification match. When something like that happens, that's called a choke. Come on, Bravado. Rubbish. I didn't see anybody choking anybody. I seen Kenny Bangle simply standing on the back of the goods. That's all I see. And the goods fighting back. Well, Bangle cuts him off again with a clubbing forearm to the back. Well, Kenny Bengal doing one thing right, and that's staying on the goods in his hometown. This fan starts, these fans start getting behind the goods, and Kenny Bengal may be in trouble. We know what that hometown advantage does. For some people in the goods, is actually very motivated by the outside. One, two, kind of a quick count from Gumar if you ask me. Who would ask you about officiating? Are you kidding me? There's a reason you're back running your mouth with me. You didn't, you didn't see the episode two weeks ago when I was, when I was asked to be the referee? That's the exactly my point. Who would ask you about any good things? You can't even officiate right. You proved it in that match. And here the, the fans getting behind the goods. Big suplex from Kenny Bangle. Bangle slapping his hands together, saying that it's easy work, and if it's so easy, you better turn around and cover the goods, as plenty of time has happened. A fair count by Dave Gumar, let me just say. Okay, that was a little slower, not as fast as the first one. Well, come on, he's not an official. He's got to warm up a little bit. What do you think Tim Lincecum just comes out and starts throwing the first pitch, first ball of the game? No, he takes some practice throws, right? David Gumar is going to get the arm warmed up. Tim Lincecum can't do it. What do you think Dave Gumar is trying to do? Tim Lincecum. Jim, I thought, I thought you were a smart guy. Apparently you're not. Listen, too many trips to said bakery. The crown, as you can hear, is getting behind the goods. And it looks like he might be mounting a comeback here. Well, the grip on Kenny Bagel's headlock definitely let go. And you can duck two of them, Jim, but the third one's gonna hurt, and the goods found that out the hard way. Yeah, that single leg kick uh, was very impressive by Kenny Bangle. You know, every time we talk to Gino anymore, he raves about Kenny Bangle. Kenny Bangle is, he, as he puts it, the rising star here in ECPW. Of course, behind third generation rising superstar Lance on the line, of course. Both men, impressive, Jim. Would love to see that in the future here at ECPW. Oh, that would be a great match to see. Kenny Bangle versus Lance. That would be one heck of a match. Well, this rematch that we've got going on is one heck of a match, Jim. The goods and Kenny Bangle giving us their all. And it's not even the main event. Jimmy, we got a champion champion match later. Yeah, our next match is LDC versus Draven. Non-title, but hey, you know what? It's still champion versus champion. It's the same two guys. I don't know if I can sit out here and watch that. And the goods, if he's smart here, will try to roll him over and go for a cover. He does, Dave Gumar. Gumar take, go rolls around around very fast. Circle. What? Ran a complete circle. He I ran it down. He ran it. The guy was doing the fastest he could do. And made a two count in five seconds. He was running. What do you want to do? Two count into five seconds. Well, it's not his fault that he only got the two. The guy kicked out. That's what happens. Don't you know officiating? Yes, I do, Phil. Well, you're not showing it. I know a lot more about officiating than you do. Well, you're not showing it. If the guy kicks out at two, you don't count three. And again, a distraction by Dave Gumar, the referee of this match, 
causing Kenny Bangle to regain control. Jacob Pride on the outside, trying to get the crowd behind the goods here. Are you done? Are you done with all the slander and the lies that you're throwing out there? They demarked nothing. Look at that count was way faster compared what? to the count that the goods got. Come on. I think you need to get your glasses fixed. Jim, the guy's not a licensed official. What do you want? He's trying to do the best he can. You're out here criticizing you out of all people are criticizing him about officiating? Yes, I am. You can't even get the three. Again, well documented. Kenny Bang on a slam. Dave Dumar out there doing the best officiating, guest officiating job I've ever seen. And Bangle down with the leg. The goods is looking really bad right now. One, two. And another quick two count from Dave Dumar. If it was quick, he would have gotten to three. Kenny asking him what's wrong. Dave's like, hey, I, I'm counting as fast as I can. Oh, what? That is not what he said. Would you stop with the slander? Jimmy, I don't know any good lawyers, and I'm surely not going to give you any numbers. And again, Jake, Jacob Pride getting the goods. Fans here in East Charlesburg behind him again. You don't want to talk about the architect, about the commissioner. You don't want to talk about him. Last guy that did that's living in a mobile home park down there in a river. He'll take your job, Jim. Hey, I might just let him. Back to the action, Kenny Bangle. Yeah, Kenny Bangle's still all over the goods. He threw no big shot there. He threw the goods ahead right into the right into the turnbuckle. No pain from the goods. No shock there. Big kick to the midsection by Kenny Bangle. And a blatant choke by Kenny Bangle, six, seven, yeah. Once again, a no count. Kenny Bangle in control of this match right now. Some critics would say that it's Dave Dumont's fault, but everybody else knows that Kenny Bangle just completely annihilated the good so far. Sure. The goods ain't looking good. Sure. I'll agree, Kenny Bangle has controlled this match. Of course you'll agree. That's the only thing I'll agree with. You can't be walked too many times to keep your job around here, Jim. And the goods with a closed fist gets reprimanded by Dave Gumar. Tell him to open, open the hand, but never told Kenny Bangle the eight times he's done it. I think you're seeing things. European uppercut, that's legal. Chop, that's legal. Watch out. Kenny Bangle's got to get out of the ring. He's got to regroup. Under the good clothesline, and both of them will meet in the middle with a double clothesline. And this match is just drastically gotten even, Jim. The fans behind the goods here in East Stroudsburg. Well, Gumar made it up to five, I'm surprised. Why, because you can't? You know, it's not that hard of a feat. Goods is back to his feet. And a fury of clotheslines. Got him on a backbreaker. Yeah, backbreaker into like a mic check, it looked like. Now, that's I don't Jim, that's not why they pay me. Yeah, they pay you to kiss Kumar's ass. I resent that. Goods up to the top. Perched up there. He lands this. It's done. Elbow. Huge elbow. Flying elbow. A la Macho Man Andy Savage. Down for the one. Down for the two. Dave Kumar. A fair count from all assessments. And the crowd's going to get on him. Listen, a lot of people don't know Jim, but Kumar came in here with a bad arm. The Goods very mad at Dave Kumar. Dave Kumar says, hey, I got the two. He's like, I'm calling this down the middle. Well, he is. 
The goods, not happy. Meanwhile, Kenny Bangle behind him. And this is fair to say that Gumar's distracting. Bangle kicks the goods right in the face with a super kick. And now that the goods is done joined to Dave Gumar. And look at Gumar. Look at Gumar's face. A face of disgust that he didn't get the three count fast enough. Come on, Bravado. Will you stop kissing this guy's ass? His arm turning. Come on, he threw it out three times ago. He doesn't want to keep hitting the mat. And all I see is a fight, and what I see is a lot of people on the good side, and nobody on Kenny Bangle's side, and there should be. And what I hear is an Ocho Cinco chant. First time ever I think I've heard that in ECPW. Well, if the guy wasn't a football player, they wouldn't have any idea what they're saying, these morons. Good's looking worse for wear, just as I say that in reverse. Bagel shoulder right in to the corner first. And Goods has got the lock on. Bagel screaming in pain. Everybody yelling tap and Bagel's gonna do it. And Gumar has no choice but to end this match. And this place is going nuts right now for the Goods, who almost broke Kenny Bagel's arm right there. Excuse me, but I like something to do. Hopefully it's leave, Jim. And again, let's go up to Jim Hoba. East Strasburg going crazy here for the goods. Petty Bangle walking out much like Tim Theory did in Portland. The goods is putting together a resume of these guys. Goods looking serious in the ring. Portland looking like they have never been more behind the goods. And Gumar. Dave Gumar's just trying to say he was calling a fair match. Hey, the goods won. What more does he want? Yeah, but Gumar had no choice. Wait, don't put your hands on an official, especially not Dave Gumar. Where's the respect? What's going on here? Where's little daddy C? Well, he's trying, yeah, he's trying to lock that in. But he just can't do it. Oh, 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 oh. trying to lock it into Dave Gumar. And he's gonna end up breaking his arm. Almost, almost locked it in. And the sick, sadistic people of East Strasburg are going to actually clap for this, Jim. They're going to actually put their hands together for this garbage. Well, the goods tried like hell to get that arm lock on Dave Gumar. Gumar fought it off as long as he could. And wait a minute, little daddy C has hit the ring and hit the goods from behind. And no deed goes unpunished to the commissioner. As little daddy C just DDT'd the goods in the next weekend. Touch him again. Little daddy C. Telling the goods never to touch him again. Meanwhile, wait a minute. Draven has come out with a chair. Draven comes to the aid of the goods here at East Strasburg, and he's asking for a microphone. And we're gonna get up to Draven. Well, if 
false count anywhere match, apparently. Raven wants Little Daddy C one right now. We've got an official walk into the ring. And Jim Hobart's gonna make it official. And Draven and Little Daddy C, one on one here in East Stroudsburg. Not the first time we've said that, certainly probably won't be the last. Draven with a backbreaker. We have got the United States Champion Draven against the 607 Champion Little Daddy C. Draven in the eye hurting yellow. And Little Daddy C in the black and the gray. The see the black and the cargo. The see through yellow, we should say, for Draven. And this is the first time we've seen Draven since winning that United States Championship. He's got a little extra bounce in his step, and I'm not talking about when he gets to the ring. I'm talking about the little confidence that I see boosting in Draven in the middle of the ring. Yeah. You know, Draven's just about had enough of this on again, off again friendship with little Daddy C. But like we said in the opening, we've seen these two have some epic matches over three years through three states. And it's... Well, these guys certainly have beat the hell out of one another, Jim. If you wanted to make a DVD of just their matches, you could. Little Daddy C showing the strength, keeping Draven up there. All the blood rushing to Draven's head, and when he comes down, he's going to be real dizzy. And Draven down to the mat. You know, I gotta say, that was very impressive. Well, Draven kicks out after one, not that impressive. Gabe Gumar still in the black and the white on the outside beside himself. And I don't blame him, he did a much better job officiating than this goofball. Still kissing ass. I don't know what you're talking about. Draven taking control. After, after he see set that chair up too, yeah, Jim. I was gonna say, Lil DIC set up that chair and uh, LDC uh, with his back turned while setting up the chair, Draven was able to uh, get some control. But there goes Draven head first in the said chair. Well, Draven hung out like yesterday's laundry on the second rope. And Lil Daddy C's got a chair, and anytime I say that, it never ends good for the other guy in the ring. Oh, you're right. Draven, you know, like we said, he just had all the blush red to it, blood rush to his head. There's a punch by Gumar on the outside. You're calling things that aren't happening again, Jim. Uh-oh. And we've seen this in McAdoo. Nice move by Little Daddy C. And Draven falls off the chair. Out from referee, referee Jesse Woodward. Little Daddy C throwing his air on the body, something that they're throwing his I'm sorry, throwing his body in the air. I'm sorry to sound like you now, Jim. Something that we don't see in his repertoire most of the time. And this is something that we do. A chair to the back of Draven. You know, uh, the one thing I will say uh, good about since LDC's joined David Gumar in the inner circle, he has pulled out some more. <laughs> Very impressive You dying on us, Jim? Man, that'd be great ratings. Now he's just blatantly choking him. But I mean, you know, like I said, he has pulled out some moves. You know, like the movie just saw, made famous by uh, Sabu. And Gumar, once again, helping out Draven, trying to get him back in the ring. Can't get a grip on his head. Come on, get him back in the ring. Little Daddy C does. Boom against the wall. Our camera's right over there. Capturing it all. And Little Daddy C beats up Draven more. Draven the step. Sent right into our cameraman. And Gumar. And Gumar a couple more punches and kicks for. Yeah, helping Draven. Well, he's trying to pick him up. But he's, he's giving him a lot of help here. Well, he's trying to pick him 
Rob Draven's hair is so greasy, I can run my car on him. You can't get a grip on him. I don't know what you're looking at, Jim. I'm going to continue to beat the bloody hell out of one another. I'm looking at Gumar beat Draven, and then when Draven just slammed his head against the, the steel stairs, looked at the referee and said, come on. No DQ, anything goes. I simply just don't know what you're talking about. Well, that is the sat right into a door. <laughs> Throwing him into it. Gumar once again trying to reprimand the referee. Our main event here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Draven and Little Daddy C, champion versus champion. And usually when these two guys meet in the ring, it usually doesn't stay there very long. Well, and Draven took, took LDC over to the ticket booth. And into the concession stand it is, as everybody's yelling. As LDC takes a trash can to the back of Draven. Well, we are in a church, so I, I guess the food was blessed. Fans on their feet. You know, like I said, ever since, ever since LDC has joined Dave Gumar, we've seen this different side of him. But we'll let him see throwing Draven into every ball that's down over by the back and over by us. Now here comes LDC. And right in front of the commentary booth, little daddy C and Draven. And Draven begging for mercy for us. I can't help you, pal. Oh, will you go somewhere, Gumar? I've had enough of you already tonight. As this is a Falls Count Anywhere match. And speaking, speaking of ECW, when we go back to Cortland on August 8th, we have former ECW champion. Is, is, oh, I'm sorry. I, LDC. Well, got clipped and his whole back of his knee. I heard him yell, yeah. oh my god, but anyway, as I was saying, Justin Incredible, former ECW champion, is coming. Yeah, is coming to Cortland. I guess to help LDC with something in Cortland. We'll have to wait and see. Well, no, we know that because look what happened earlier when I tried to talk to him. Now, DC, that leg is definitely hurting. Draven catches him with a shoulder. Say that was two and two and seven eighths. I mean that was so his shoulder just went up as referee Jesse's hand was going to the mat. It looked like a three count to me. Dave Gumar is beside himself on the outside. Yeah, Dave Gumar, who took him 10 seconds to count to two for the good, not even 10 minutes ago. He's got an official shirt on. You got a, you got a button-up shirt on. Does it mean you are anybody? No. I'm the one that brings traffic. You're over here in a I can't even say jeans and a, and a some sort of throwback shirt you probably picked up at Walmart today before you came to the show. And LDC off the top rope. 
on the Draven. You still got folks in the in the shirt that you bought this morning. What the hell you're talking about me for? If you pay attention to the match, maybe I wouldn't have to embarrass you all the time. Well, I am paying attention to the match. I'm the one that caught up. You see, he jumped off the top rope. Get off! At least, at least he finally did something for himself in this match. He didn't have to have to go to Mark to beat down Draven for him. LDC, yeah, setting up that chair once again. And a drop toe hold. Right drop here. toe hold into the chair. Yeah, you learned a new move from huh, Bravado. Well, I've seen that one before. I know a couple body slams and file drivers. And Draven trying to roll him up here. Can't do it. LDC just pounds him in the head. Close fist once again. Draven a rake to the eyes of Little Daddy C. And a and smart a, by Draven oh, once smart. again. Oh, it's smart. Going after that knee. It's That's smart. right, it's smart. Okay, so the illegal move that Draven does is smart, but the illegal move that Little Daddy C does is just cheap. I don't understand how you're calling this down the middle, Jim. I don't even know what you're talking about. You, you rarely do, that's why they pay me more. Draven down to the, across the small of the back of Little Daddy C. Somebody looked up Wikipedia this weekend. I dabble. So here goes Draven once again going for that sharpshooter. But can't get it. Little Daddy C clutching that, clutching that right knee. Barely able to put any weight on it. And there's that crucifix neck breaker from Draven. And here he goes. I wonder if he's gonna go Eric Young. What do you think? I think we're about to see a piece of Wrigley stick gum fly through the air here. Draven back killing him. Trying to climb up on that I think that Draven is probably, if he lands this, it's over. He's right on the cusp of winning this one, Jim. Oh, and LDC gets the knees up right at the last second. Still can't walk on that leg. It looks like he might try the 1459 here. Nope, there's just a DDT. It looks like Draven 1459 himself off the top rope. And LDC, regardless, there's a winner. Up the victory. Of course he does. victory over the United States champion Draven. Draven gave it his all. Some people that don't know what they're talking about would say Gumar has something to do with it. Obviously he doesn't. And Draven's probably voted least likely to get hit by a car tonight with those pants. If he's walking out of the side of the road, he's definitely safe. And now the inner circle in the ring, and they're going to celebrate, and why not? Your main event here on ECTW Showcase. And Little Daddy C picks up a big win over Draven here. Holding the bell right in Jim Holbrook's face.